Number one, we're gonna go ahead and talk about how you can start your ATM business within the next seven days. Next, we're actually going to be interviewing one of my close mentees. I'm actually mentoring her in digital marketing, but she's already an expert in the vending machine business. And then Getum is actually going to join us at the very end of this live. And he's going to be talking about how we can let you guys borrow our team to actually build your ATM business and also land you the most profitable locations in 2023, guys. Welcome to another weekly live with ATMtogether.com. Your host, Paul Alex, founder of ATMtogether.com. Welcome, guys. Now, we're doing a little something different this time, okay? Get him, our COO of ATM together. He will be appearing later on during this actual live. I got some really cool lessons to actually talk about on this live, guys. So welcome. If you are new, go ahead and comment new. And if you are a veteran in the game, okay, I want you actually to comment that. That's going to be V-E-T. And if you're new, comment N E. W guys, trust me, we have a lot of goodies. If you guys comment and you guys actually help with the algorithm, we do this once a week live where we interact with you guys. Okay. And also I want to know exactly where you guys are watching this from, whether it is from San Francisco, New York, Miami, Texas, no matter where you're from, drop it down in the comments below, guys. I'm originally from San Francisco coming at, coming at you from San Diego guys. Yes. But I'll be transitioning to the East Coast September of 2023. So for all my East Coast people, you guys have to reach out to me. You guys got to let me know what are the best spots to eat in Miami, Florida, because I'm super excited to launch our corporate offices of ATMtogether.com down in Miami, guys. All right. So just to keep you in the loop with what's going on with ATM Together, guys. Oh, we've been so busy. If you guys have been watching our socials on Instagram, uh, by the way, Make sure to follow me, Paul Alex Espinoza. That's going to be E-S-P-I-N-O-Z-A. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter and on YouTube now, guys. So we got a lot of goodies going with you. We teamed up with Daniel Mack. If you guys don't know who Daniel Mack is, he's that TikTok kid that asks people, what do you do for a living? Ultimately, we were able to give out $100,000 to It's All About the Kids charity down here in San Diego, which provided literally thousands of families food for Christmas, guys. It was wonderful. I'm actually getting goosebumps talking about it because it was such a wonderful experience, actually helping out the amount of people that were actually there giving their free time, working hard, trying to help the community. And we're looking to actually do more charities as we grow as a company and launch our new ventures, guys. Okay. So Make sure to catch the actual TikTok video, and that's going to be Paul Alex Espinoza underscore on TikTok, guys. Literally got over 400,000 views since last week. It's phenomenal. And if you're from San Diego, you'll notice our brand new crypto ATM that we freshly installed in City Heights Market, guys. Yes, it is remarkable, okay? You guys are going to love it. We have a lot of goodies for you on this live. And then also... Getem and I are going to be heading to Miami next month, guys. Yes, we're actually going to actually learn more. Uh, just like I always say, guys, you have to learn before you earn, right? So we're doing like that. We're trying to level up in 2023, guys. Yes, I spent over 250000 And this year coming up, I want to spend another 100000 on self-education. Because at the end of the day, if you don't know, you don't know. All right, you got to go ahead and actually go out there and get it. You got to learn it from the people that actually know how to do it, guys. And I don't know it. I don't know everything. I'm just human, okay? I actually consider myself a nine to five. If you guys don't know my background, I actually come from law enforcement, okay? Seven years in law enforcement. I was a beat cop for eight months. I got out. I got voluntold to be an investigator. And that was one of the greatest opportunities in my life, guys. I got to do so many different units, got to experience a lot of stuff that you see in the movies. And at the end of the day, I was able to help literally thousands upon thousands of people and families in the community in the Bay Area in Northern California. Now, with that being said, it actually taught me to be a leader. It taught me how to run an organization. It taught me how to build the infrastructure to actually build a multi-million dollar business in entrepreneurship, guys. So I got a little uh, shortcut to success because of that career. And I owe everything to that career as well.
Okay. So if you have the skill set, whether it's sales, marketing, prospect guys, you guys could go ahead and you guys could do exactly what I did. And what ATMs, ATMs was the vehicle to actually to financial freedom. And the reason why it just started with one ATM. I didn't have millions of dollars when I first started, guys. I started this five years ago, a little bit over five years ago now. I'm about to be 35 next month, guys. Time flies. It's amazing. I started it when I was 29, guys. Now I'm about to be 35 next month. Time flies, guys. And in the next five years, all of us, we're just going to get older. So there's no point of actually getting stuck on analysis paralysis, guys, because at the end of the day, life is going to come at you. You're going to get older. And whether or not you level up, guess what? <laughs> You don't want things to stay the same every single year. So 2023, make sure to make that promise for you. New year, new you. Let's get it going. All right. So we're going to be in Miami approximately for the mastermind January 21st to the 23rd. We're going to be down there with other seven-figure entrepreneurs just learning so we can earn more. And ultimately... If you guys want a one-on-one -on -one consultation, whether it's for digital marketing, whether it's for ATMs, whether it's for crypto ATMs, and our new venture... I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pause right there. I'll be, um, actually announcing that next, next, I say in the two, in two weeks, in two weeks, but we just literally just signed a major contract with another company, guys. It's going to be amazing. Just like the crypto ATMs and you guys are in for a treat because we're going to hook everybody up. Okay. I'm excited for this. Now, if you do want to meet, get them an I mastermind for an hour, uh, over coffee, lunch or whatever, and you want us to help you directly to launch your business or to level up, make sure to DM either myself, you can DM me on IG or Facebook or DM, get them. And then also our emails, it's going to be paul at atmtogether.com or get them at atmtogether.com. Either or we're both going to be down in Miami, the 21st to the 23rd guys. Um, and let us know, let us know. We want to meet some of you guys so we can actually help you level up for 2023. Okay, now, some good stuff, some free resources for you guys that are actually watching this. Bitcoin and cash ATM guides, the brand new guides that we just launched a few weeks ago, guys. So if you haven't read our crypto ATMs yet, go ahead and actually comment crypto. And that's going to be C-R-Y-P-T-O. And I know for, uh, for, for many of you probably, because you guys are probably in the same boat I was a couple of years ago when I was just like, no, I'm just going to stick to cash. I'm just going to stick to what I know. I'm telling you guys, this is one of the biggest opportunities out there when I heard it. And trust me, I make great decisions, especially in business. So I'm telling you right now, guys, this is the greatest opportunity right now to actually be a broker, be a middleman in the crypto game. You're, you guys are not buying crypto, but you're going to facilitate the sales and the purchase of crypto from actual investors. And it's a great opportunity for anyone to make their money work for you. Because at the end of the day, what is your cash doing for you inside of your savings account? It's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. I wasted damn near 10 years in my 20s, guys, by keeping tens of thousands of dollars in my savings account. It didn't do anything for me. If anything, it just got lower year after year because of inflation. But I didn't have the proper education, self-education by multi-millionaires uh, that actually knew the game. So then I invested in myself uh, whew, the past two years, like I said, almost a quarter, uh, a little bit over a quarter of a million dollars. And ultimately, I learned the game. Now that I learned the game, I actually teach other the game. But then there's levels to the game, right? Because once you get to a million dollars, you're going to see like, wow, a million dollars is not a lot anymore, guys. It's really not. And you guys are probably like, Paul, what are you talking about, man? Like you already hit that threshold. Guys, I'm telling you right now with inflation, you have to keep building and you have to build and build and build. So you have a security net for your security net. Okay. If that makes sense, you always have to have a backup to the backup. That's just the way it goes. You never know when life's going to hit you hard, guys. And trust me, I've been through it. I've been in situations where, uh, luckily, I've had the financial freedom to help a lot of my family members, where I've been in situations where if I didn't have the money, it could be the matter of life or death, okay? And that's just life. So you have to prepare yourself for the worst, okay, guys? So back to the free guides, guys. If you guys want a free guide, go ahead and comment Bitcoin. That's going to be B-I-T-C-O. I -N. And if you guys want our standard cash ATM guide for the ATM automation business, then go ahead and comment cash and we'll have one of our teammates reach out to you guys. It's a remarkable guide. Both have remarkable stories. The Bitcoin has 
the story behind Get Him and I, and then the Cash ETM guide has my primary background story. And it's a really good read. It, it'll usually take you about 30 minutes and it will change your life. It really will. Because I wrote that when I was literally starting out, guys, and I just kept it in my journal for the past five years. And I just would repeat the story over and over again. And I'd be like, damn, I came a long way. It's crazy, guys, how fast life can change for you if you just believe in yourself and ultimately just execute. It's as simple as that. I call it the bread and butter of entrepreneurship, guys. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, go over the topics, guys. Topics. We're number one. We're going to go ahead and talk about how you can start your ATM business within the next seven days. Next, we're actually going to be interviewing one of my close mentees. Okay, guys, I'm actually mentoring her in digital marketing, but she's already an expert in the vending machine business. It's a remarkable offer that she is coming up, which is launching January of 2023. So if you're currently doing ATMs, if you're currently doing crypto ATMs, or you're currently in digital marketing, and you want to add another source of semi to passive income through vending machines, she is going to be the numero uno in the vending machine industry, guys. I'm telling you right now, we've <laughs> we've had big meetings with manufacturers in the vending machine business, and they're just like, Mouth open during the meeting. They're like, I can't believe no one thought about this before. And I'm telling you, I've been helping her every single day build her systems, her infrastructure for her online business. And she is going to dominate the online game, guys. I'm telling you. And you guys can be in, in it first. I'm telling you right now, you guys are going to love it. Okay. All right. And then get them is actually going to join us at the very end of this live. And he's going to be talking about uh, on how. We can let you guys borrow our team to actually build your ATM business and also land you the most profitable locations in 2022 and 2023, guys. And I don't know if you guys didn't see the last client testimonial, but one of the last client testimonials that we posted today, and we post about two or three of them, three of them a day, this client, his first month made $600, guys. $600 off of his first location with us. And ultimately it is amazing. It is completely changing the, 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 you could say even the infrastructure of people's lives, because now they have to operate different. They think differently once they start seeing the cash flow coming in. Cause they're like, wow, how can I scale even more? You know, and I got some remarkable stories for you guys once we start this lesson, but let's go ahead and get this, this thing started uh, just because we're limited in time. I've already been talking for the past 15 minutes, but okay, here we go. How you can start your ATM business within the next seven days. Now, I'm just going to foc focus on four, simplicity equals success, guys, okay? So if you are ready for this or you are interested in starting your ATM business and you actually want to talk to one of our consultants that has helped thousands upon thousands of people for a free informational call, then go ahead and comment start. That's going to be S-T-A-R-T. Go ahead and comment start, guys. Now, this is just an informational call. It's all value-based. We book a 10 to 15-minute appointment in the next seven days, guys, because we've been booked out since the past two months. Um, it's been crazy. But with that being said, we try to accommodate everybody, okay? So, informational call, they will break down exactly what you need to do in the ATM business. Not only that, but actually advise you on how much um, how much funds you're going to need in order to start this, okay? Because it does take money to make money, guys. That's just the truth. Uh, don't listen to those people that say, well, you can do this for free. You could get that for free. You could do this for free. No. <laughs> Think about it like this. You would never go to a doctor if the doctor was advertising their services for free, right? Why? Because it's life and death. You would never go to a lawyer that's going to defend your freedom because and his services are free because it's your freedom. It's important, right? So then why would you try to go the free route when you're not educated in business? Why wouldn't you want to work with the experts? Something to think about, guys, okay? While I'm talking about this lesson. All right, so tip number one. What I highly recommend that you guys do while you guys are watching this, if you guys could take notes on either your iPad notes or to get a paper copy like me, I'm old school. I like to do the notepad and all that jazz. Inkfile.com, guys. That's going to be I-N-C-F-I-L. 
L-E.com, guys, inkfile.com. It is the fastest way for you to actually execute on doing your LLC. The importance of the LLC is that it's all about personal liability. You guys don't want to risk your livelihood. You guys don't want to risk everything that you worked hard for in your life. Okay. When I started my very first business at the age of 21, I didn't even know what an LLC was. I didn't even know that you had to pay taxes on that. And trust me, guys, when I went through my background investigation with for, for the police department, that background investigator, that was the first thing they asked me. They were like, Paul, did you know you know what an LLC is? Like you, you, you're a serial entrepreneur. You've been you've been doing like uh, nightclub events and all that, and you, you do pretty well. But have you been paying your tax off? I was never educated on that, guys. I just saw the potential with a business. I executed it. And then ultimately, I was just like, I'll figure it out later. But that all worked out later on because why? That actually forced me to pay a tax expert, a tax consultant, and a CPA moving forward for my actual businesses throughout that decade of my life, guys, in my 20s. So uh, at the end of the day, you make these mistakes, right? And everybody doesn't want to make a mistake. Everybody always wants to say, oh, uh, it's just, it's, it's raining right now. I don't, I, it's not the right time for me to start my business. Uh, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. It just doesn't sound, it doesn't, it, I just don't believe in it. Whatever you tell yourself in life, it's going to appear. It's going to happen to you guys. So those days that you say, Hey, I think I'm getting sick. If you're already thinking you're getting sick, you're going to get sick. That's just the way it goes. If you're already going into a basketball game or a football game or a baseball game and you're intimidated by your opponents, you're going to lose. Why? Because they already won. They already beat you in here, guys. And in the greatest entrepreneurs in this world, okay, I've been in rooms with talk about nine-figure earners, guys that are making a million dollars a week, guys. Yeah, there's actual people like that making a million dollars a week. It's crazy. But the number one thing that every single one of them has said when they speak or when I've spoken to them, they say, Paul, the most successful people are confident. The most successful people have the proper mindset because not everything is going to go perfect. And when things don't go perfect, you have to lead by example. That's just the way it goes. So guys, inkfile.com, I just bought a quadplex. Guys, quadplex. My ETM just bought me a quadplex, guys. It's a four-unit uh, quadplex. Um, it's going to cash flow about $5,000 a month. Um, now, I've always invested in real estate since the age of 22 when I bought my first condo back in the Bay Area. And ultimately, all the real estate properties that I have purchased, they were always for me. Uh, every three years, I would reevaluate what the market's at. And then I would say, huh, okay, it's a good time to buy. And as you guys know, real estate, it's a long game. Real estate is my retirement plan, guys. Okay. It's not 401k. Real estate, it's my retirement plan as an entrepreneur. So everything that I get, that I generate profits from my businesses, okay, it goes into real estate. And the reason why is because one, real estate, even though it could go down and up, it has history that it consistently goes up through the years. So appreciation, guys, right? One thing that I will tell you as an entrepreneur, if you want to actually become wealthy, you want to become rich, you want to be, have the money, right? It's not going to start with real estate. And that's not what everybody tells you. There's a ton of gurus out there right now, guys, that say, hey, you can start um, buying properties and doing all this crazy stuff with loans. And you could be in debt for like literally hundreds of millions of dollars and then be cash flowing and making like $15,000. But why would you take that much risk when there's a safer and easier route to go ahead and actually execute? And actually three to six X the numbers that you would get with real estate. Okay. And that's actually starting a business. 
not necessarily just starting ATMs. That was my route. That was my vehicle to actually go ahead and become a real estate owner, right? But ultimately, I didn't rely on real estate to cash flow. I'm letting my money sit. I'm letting my money grow. And the cash flow that does come in, great. It's a win-win, right? I'll make a little bit of money. But ultimately, that's going to go into a savings account where then I could put another, um, I, could, I could pay another property in cash. But ultimately, the reason why I was able to afford a quadplex like that and pay cash was because of my businesses, guys. So ultimately, the fastest way for you to enjoy your youth, whether you are 20 years old, whether you are 30, 40, 50, 60, even in the 70s, you're still young. You still got a lot of life ahead of you, guys okay, is to start a business and then take the profits and invest that into real estate, guys. It's remarkable, okay? So Inc. File, I was able to go ahead and actually file for my new real estate LLC, guys, okay? Because you have to have that personal uh, liability protection, guys. I don't want one of my tenants to go all crazy one day and be like, man, I'm about to sue Paul. He pissed me off. That's just the reality of it. That's uh, as a real estate owner, that's what you deal with, guys. That's why I always tell people I'd rather own, you know, five, six ATMs than actually own a uh, rental property because you're not dealing with actual tenants. You're not. You're not dealing with the maintenance. You're not dealing with upkeep of the business. At most, you're dealing with probably like two picks in the card reader, which takes about two minutes to fix. Other than that, majority of new ATMs, they actually come with two-year warranties, guys. They're work horses. I got ATMs that have lasted me for five years without any major issues. It's amazing, okay? And the low entry cost is the most cost-effective business that you can actually start if you're currently working a 95 or you're looking for a low investment that is actually secure because it's a tangible, it's, it's, it's a floating asset, guys. It's a floating asset because let's say you get a location, you put your ATM in there, right? And it doesn't do well, right? The first two, three months. That's okay. Shake it off and go put it in another location. That's what happened to me when I started over five years ago, guys. I had six locations that I landed. Three of the locations didn't do well. Only made about 50 bucks. And ultimately, I felt like shit. I felt like shit. And I was just like, damn, my ex was right. My mom's right. My family's right. My little sister's like, ha, ha, ha. That's just the way it is. That's the way it is. People are not going to believe it until you're an overnight success. But that overnight success is going to take about five years, six years. It could take however long. But when you're getting it, then everybody's like, oh, man, I believed in him the entire time. That's just the way it is. So you can't be sensitive to that, guys. Okay? All right. So inkfile.com literally will take you 20 minutes, guys. I did my LLC. What was today? Tuesday. Uh, I did my LLC on Sunday. It got approved this morning, guys, within a day and a half. Amazing. EIN, all the documents ready to go. Tomorrow morning, before I fly out to Vegas, I'm going to go open a bank account so then I could go ahead and actually use that for uh, to keep money in there for the maintenance and all that, all that jazz for the rental property. It's amazing. Okay. All right. Number two. Now, once you go ahead and you have your LLC, you're going to need a business bank account. Now, guys, if you're in California, right now in California, it's all back. I'm not going to lie to you. Full transparency. If somebody's trying to sell you an ATM, they're like, oh, you're good in California. <sighs> Due diligence, guys. Please do your research. Do not get played into buying an ATM and then you're shit out of luck and that ATM stuck in there getting cobwebs in the garage for years or months or whatnot. And you're pissed off. You're like, dude, I should have never done this. In California, right now, you cannot open a business bank account for cash ATMs because of the compliance departments. They're going heavy on that. If you are a veteran in the game, yes, I have uh, accounts still open with my banks, but ultimately I've, I've been around for a few years, right? So until that is solved, just if you need the help, you can contact either myself or any one of the ATM Together staff, and we'll advise you. Now, if you're looking into crypto ATMs, you're good all day. You could go ahead and launch that right now in California. And I highly recommend you guys do it because it is the gold rush for crypto ATMs in the next three years. If you got a crypto ATM, you're about to be well off. I'm just going to say it like that, okay? I I'm saying this because I'm actually doing it. 
not only do I provide the services, but I actually use my own services, guys. So I'm launching 20 ATMs in San Diego. I'm going to do another 20 in Miami. And then ultimately, I will take it from there. Okay. Now, with business bank accounts, there are a couple things that you guys need to do in order for you guys to go ahead and execute this properly. Number one, you need to actually have your formation of company, okay? You need to actually have your EIN. You have to have an actual process agreement with your ATM vendor, meaning that the that's the company that actually um, allows you to uh, use their processing network. If you guys don't know what the processing network is, processing network basically allows you to do the transactions with the banking network, your business bank account, and then um, it also allows you to get the money once your ATM dispenses the money that you put inside your ATM along with the surcharge profits, okay? So just think about it like this. Think about the ATM like your little employee, okay? You put $1,000, just for example, inside of the ATM. When you do that, let's say 10 people use it and they withdraw 20 bucks, okay? Now, that's roughly around $200. For each $20 that each person uses during that transaction, you're gonna get, $3 to $5. Hey, if you get a strip club, you could charge $15 and people are going to pay you all day. And we know this because we have the experience with that. So <laughs> with that being said, guys, uh, you get charged whatever you want. Just be fair. Okay. So with that, the processing network brings back your funds inside of the ATM and the surcharge profits every single business day. It's phenomenal. It is almost like recycling your money, but in a legal way, not illegal, but legal way. Okay. When I found out, I was just like, hey, can I even do this? This is amazing. Right. But what you don't know is what you don't know, guys. Okay. All right. That covers a business bank account. And then also, once you have the processing agreement, your LLC, your EIN, and you have proper identification, guys, because, man, I've met some clients that are like, hey, dude, is, um, my college ID is sufficient enough for me to go to the bank. I'm like, no, dude, you need like an actual state ID and you need like a passport. You need actual identification. I'm serious, guys. <laughs> it's funny, but it is what it is, right? So when you go in there, simple liner that you're going to talk to the bank or bank manager, go presentable. And then also just let them know, like, look, I'm starting an ATM business. I'm a first timer. Be transparent. And I just want to open a business checking account so I could collect my commissions from my ETM. That's it. I'm working with an actual um, processing company. And if you have the information handy, or if you could call whoever your sales rep is, then go ahead and do so. Communication is key, guys. So once you go ahead and do that, they're either going to tell you yes or no. There's no way around it. Okay. So they tell you yes. Phenomenal. You did a great job. If they tell you no, you can simply just ask them why. And they might tell you, they'll be like, hey, you know, we're, we just enrolled like five people this week and and we just can't do it okay fair enough what you what you could do next if you're actually the one cold calling and finding the banks you could go ahead and you can actually go on yelp that's y-e-l-p.com and just type in credit unions type in small businesses or small banks and then just go down the line guys that's all you got to do it's simple simplicity equals success okay all right guys now this is going to go very quick all right, because I have Kwani waiting in the waiting room right now. Kwani, if you're watching, I see you. I'm going to let you in in just a minute, okay? All right, last two things. The vendor, this is super important, guys. You want to actually go ahead and actually deal with a company that's going to provide you the processing network, okay? Which, two golden nuggets, you shouldn't be getting charged for this, guys. You guys should actually be getting 100% of your surcharge. And then number two, don't sign an actual service agreement. That's what happened to me. It sucks when I was starting out, plus the three ATMs, I wasn't uh, sufficient in the very beginning until I changed them. And then by my third month, I was making $3,000 from my six ATMs, which was remarkable. And it changed the, the, the beliefs that I had, um, especially as a side hustle while I was still in law enforcement, guys. It was remarkable. Okay. I was able to build that during the weekends, during my days off. I took some vacation time as well. And I was able to go ahead and actually execute on what I believed in. Now with the vendor, you want to make sure 
that they actually provide great customer service because that's that, that's what it's about, guys. When the shit hits the fan, and you got a you got a popping nightclub, okay, and that nightclub it's it's going till six a.m. in the morning. If you're in Miami, hey guys, I know I know you guys party till six a.m. But if you're in California, let's say two a.m. And they call you at midnight, they're like, Paul, the machine is down, man. We need it because we're cash only or we got a cash bar or, or whatever. We got a special event. Man, you're going to take care of that bread and butter because that account is generating you like two grand. Trust me, we have, we have clients where we've landed locations like that and it's lovely. But they take care of business when it comes to the customer service, okay? So you're in there and you're trying to call the company that's helping you with the processing and the tech, and they don't answer the call. What do you do, right? You got to think on your feet. Now you're YouTubing, man, you're going through it. You got the manager yelling at you. You're like, oh shit, what do I do? This is reality. It's happened to me, guys. So what you do is you deal with a vendor that actually has your back. You deal with a vendor that has a 24-7 hotline for emergencies. You deal with a vendor that you would actually friend if you weren't doing business. Don't deal with somebody that's an that doesn't treat you right from the beginning, guys. Okay. So make sure you guys go with a quality company that actually has history with treating their clients right. All right. Whether it's ATM together or anyone else you guys want. Okay. All right. Number four, guys, location, 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 prospecting. Now, very quick on this, and I'm going to make it very fast. One minute, Kwani, if you're watching this, you have two options. You either have the option of going ahead and prospecting yourself, okay, which there's no issue with that. I did that, okay? Or two, you can pay an expert and a team of experts that have found thousands of locations and actually save hundreds of hours to actually find your location and ultimately you're able to scale a lot faster, okay? So you have to decide. Now, like I said, nothing in life is free, right? If you do choose to go and find your own location, you're gonna spend a minimum of 100 hours prospecting. And it's just, you can use Yelp, you can use a CRM, you can use different databases to help you expedite the process. But the way I look at this, Okay. Financial freedom is actually working smarter. So you're making the same money. So you don't have to work those long hours. Trust me, guys. I used to work 60 to 100 hours in law enforcement. Yes, I made uh, close to about a quarter of a million dollars a year living in the San Francisco Bay Area, which is almost like equivalent to making 100 grand. Okay. Mortgages, rent, life, everything was up and up. Inflation is going crazy. It is expensive and they tax the heck out of you guys. So at the end of the day, your time is everything. If you have the time to go ahead and invest a hundred hours on finding locations, then I recommend that you start getting that experience for yourself. Now, if you currently work a nine to five and you don't have the time to actually go ahead and prospect on your own, then you can pay a team of experts to actually help you find some of the best locations in your area or around the nation, guys. Okay. And we'll get into that in a little bit later, but that's just something to think about. Okay. It's time versus upfront um, investment when you're starting up any type of business. Okay. All right, guys, I'm just going to give the heads up to Kwani just to make sure that she's ready to go. And then we're going to go ahead and execute on her interview guys. Okay, guys. So just to wrap up this lesson, like I said, real estate versus running a business, because I know we have a lot of real estate gurus online. And what I could tell you from personal experience, you need a business in order to go ahead and actually cash flow and then invest into real estate for your retirement. That is the best infrastructure and the best method to go ahead and build wealth. Okay. Especially in 2023, you guys are going to see that we're launching a podcast at the end of January. It's going to be remarkable. I'm going to love it. I love talking to you guys. Okay. I love the engagement too. Anyways, if you guys are ready for the interview, go ahead 
and comment Kwani. That's going to be Q-U-A-N-I. Go ahead and comment Kwani. She is hopping on right now on the live, guys, and she's going to have a remarkable interview about vending machines. All right, so to give you a little background on Kwani, Kwani built her vending machine business while she was still working her nine to five. She has done some remarkable things online. She has over 100,000 followers on Instagram. And that's organic, guys. Not paid ads, none of that jazz. Organic. Her story is remarkable. And I'm very excited for her to tell you guys exactly how she's, she did it. And then ultimately about her new program. Kwani, how are you doing today? How's it going? Oh, it's going. Oh, how was uh? Going? Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Okay, Kwani, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and get started. So Kwani, I just uh, told everybody that you're coming out with a brand new program for vending machines. Anybody that wants to start in the vending machine business, you are the go-to for that. We've been working for the past couple of months on your program. It's going to be remarkable in 2023. Sky's the limit, right? So Question number one, what were you doing before vending machines? Before vending machines, I had a career background in community, uh, city and government level organizations, just developing programs, uh, enriching school systems for youth. And I had a lot of joy in that. I, I did Okay, guys. So I think that might there might be some reception issues. Yeah, I think the the reception it's not uh it's not coming in, Kwani. And it's okay. definitely a different game for so sure. So, Kwani, just to let you know, you're, the entire time you were talking, it completely shut off. Okay, there she goes. <laughs> All right, guys, no worries. This is how you guys know it's real, okay? All right, so. While she gets back online, I got something very special for you guys. We've been working on this day and night. We, we just hired a new editor and we just launched our ATM Together YouTube channel, okay? So all of the previous recorded lives that we've done for the past almost two years, guys, we're going to start posting them, editing them, and they're going to come out beautifully for you guys, okay? So I'm going to drop it right now in the comments and you guys can go ahead and actually just make sure to like our videos follow and we're going to have the latest and greatest on our ATM together YouTube channel as you guys are going to see um as soon as Kwani is able to get back guys go ahead and check the link for the YouTube channel ATM together YouTube channel it's going to be phenomenal guys we already uploaded two YouTube videos and you guys are going to love it okay all right and Kwani is connecting back guys so here we go All right, there we go. We lost you for a minute. All right, yeah, we're back. <laughs> we're back. Okay, so Connie, it's literally from the beginning, it uh, it cut off. So I'll just repeat the question again. Uh, what were you doing before vending machines? Yeah, before vending machines, I was working in city and government uh, jobs, just coordinating uh, youth. Before and after school programs, community programs to enrich uh, at risk youth, and just giving back to where I live, right? And that was very enjoyable. It definitely fed my heart. 
to so to say, but it definitely wasn't feeding the bank, you know, there's a lot of struggle in those years. And so being able to land on vending machines, something just clicked in me to want to have additional revenue and to have income that I didn't have to put in so many hours and I could uh, just make no matter if I worked or not. So that wasn't something that I was getting from working in those government and city level jobs. No, I, absolutely. And that, and that makes total sense. So Kwani, I have to ask you, like, why vending machines over anything else that you could have started? And how, how did you get into it? Like, was it a friend? Was it a mentor? Did you just see something online? How did you get into vending machines? Yeah, honestly, YouTube, you know, I just binge watched so many hours of YouTube, because I was looking up passive income uh, streams and just revenue streams. And I, I did some research on a lot of different options, but vending machines just spoke to me. At the time I was a single mother and uh, my daughter was only eight months young. And I literally had $107 in my checking account. And that's when it clicked for me. I was like, yo, you know, I gotta figure out something to drive me to create generational wealth for my daughter and to begin a new chapter, right? In just the history of just things that I've experienced in my family and those before me. So it was a new day and YouTube really helped me to find that new path. And that's how vending machines kicked off for me. I like that. So you figured out your why you realized your situation is a situation you didn't want to be in. And you were like, I got to do something. You got your back against the wall, right? And you made it happen. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's remarkable. And that's usually what, what happens to some of the most successful entrepreneurs is something critical in their life that just dramatically changes. And they're like, you know what, this is it. I've had enough, like it's not going to be the same. So good stuff. I love that. Okay, Kwani. So I told everybody already that you have over 100,000 followers on Instagram, okay? Organically, which is remarkable. It's very hard to do that. So you got you to you give up your secrets, okay? okay. <laughs> How has social media helped you expand your vending machine business, your personal brand, just in general? Man, you know, you know, it's a gift and a curse, isn't it? Uh, as much as social media can drain us and kind of give us false realities and instant gratification, at the same time, social media is an opportunity to expand our reach and to collaborate with those that we may not have had the opportunity to meet face to face. So for me, it's the lather. And I really take advantage of that. You know, I've, I've built relationships and colleagues with folks from Portland, Oregon to Atlanta, Georgia, from New York City to Phoenix. And I just adore that, you know, it just means a lot to me. So for us, being able to grow organically, as Paul shared, to over 100,000 followers, honestly, has been with that model, just collaborating and being open-minded to sharing what we know and, and learning from others as well, not being, you know, stubborn and closed-minded. You got to be willing to grow. And with each person that you meet, if they're meant to be in your life for good, you should be growing from something you learn from them. And so that's what we've been able to do. And just being someone who communicates and reaches out to our followers and makes them feel important. You know, we appreciate that you support us. I'm sure Paul feels the same with you just being interested in vending machines or ATM machines and wanting to earn passive income. There can spark a relationship. And you never know what knowing someone can do for you because as Paul knows, it's not what you know. It's who you know. There we go. <laughs> exactly. Your network is your net worth, guys. So ultimately, you know, that's this is this is exactly why social media is so powerful because we're building these communities of like-minded individuals that never would have met if it wasn't for the internet. As crazy as that sounds, right? So it's a it's a it's a beautiful thing. And you know, you 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 hit it on point, Kwani. Um, okay, so. Let's get to the bread and butter for the people watching right now. And they're going to watch it tomorrow because usually a lot of people are working. It's the holiday season right now. The malls are crazy. So yeah. <laughs> I know there's going to be a lot of people in the mornings like, man, oh, man, I missed the live. We got so many messages. It was crazy. Okay. So as of right now, besides the current program that we're working on, that's going to be released in January. Okay. What have you been providing the people? Um that want to start out there that actually are interested in starting the vending machine or they want more information. Um, have you been starting like uh, any eBooks or templates or any free resources that you can provide the folks that are watching this? Yeah, absolutely. If you're interested in earning passive income through vending machines and 
you want to create generational wealth for your family, I have a bundle of resources for you from our vending forms and docs bundle, which is 10 professional documents that you will use to help organize and facilitate your business on the logistics side. I also have an ebook bundle, and this ebook bundle will teach you how to start a canning machine business, a vending machine business, as well as find turnkey vending machine opportunities. So that's a gem that a lot of folks don't know when you're new to vending. Um, and we also provide coaching calls. So that's being able to pick our brain and really get that sauce, really figure out, hey, Rezo, what did you do to find success in these specific venues? And lastly, we ultimately offer mentorship as well. I'm very excited to partner with Paul because he's gonna be tweaking our mentorship that we're offering to a done for you mentorship package. And I'm sure we'll talk about that a little later. But right now, we're currently offering, we call it a right by your side, okay? Right by your side mentorship. We'll see you hand in hand and go over each step that you need to become a legal structured vending machine company, as well as provide you the information you need to find great locations, grade A, tier A locations, and find success financially in vending. So that's what we offer. You can find all of this in our link in bio on Instagram. Love it. Love it. And that's going to be Rezo Vending. And that's the handle, IG handle, guys. And lastly, I mean, Kwani is already talking about it. So it's out there already. Okay. She exposed the secrets. So guys, like you heard, Kwani started vending machines for beginners, guys. It's going to change the game. It's going to change the vending machine industry. Okay. So as you guys can see in the comments below, go ahead and opt in right now. We just dropped multiple links to Kwani's vending machines for beginners, free Facebook group, guys. And I'm pretty sure Kwani wants to tell you about all the free resources, the free, free mini course that she has in there. Kwani, you want to go ahead and just tell them the game? Yeah, guys, go ahead and be sure that you are clicking to be invited to our Facebook group, Vending Machines for Beginners. Again, like Paul said, this is the first Vending Machines for Beginners group on Facebook. So I think you guys will find great resource and great information and being in a place that's welcoming to beginners, all right? There's a lot of places that are very tough and very mean to those who are new to vending and obnoxious as well. Not here. Okay, guys, if you're interested, please join us on Facebook first and foremost. And secondly, you got to find us on Instagram as well. That's at Rayzo Vending, R-A-Y-Z-O. And to be honest, guys, you can find us on any social media platform just by searching Rayzo. okay? We're on Twitter, we're on TikTok, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, and we also are on YouTube, guys. And we love to do videos just showing you more so the hands-on approach of what it takes to be successful in vending. So please just whatever your favorite social media avenue is, go ahead and search Razor Vending and support us. But ultimately, you got to be in that Facebook group, Vending Machines for Beginners, because this is where we're going to be breaking down all the intricate details it takes to be successful with vending machines. And, you know, because anybody can place a vending machine in a location, but it doesn't mean they're going to be successful, guys. And we definitely don't want you to invest your hard earned money at your job. You're trying to support your family. And the goal is to get financially free, right? So we want to guide you the most proper way from the heart of how to do that successfully with vending machines. So join us on Facebook, Vending Machines for Beginners. Man, Kwani killed it. <laughs> that was awesome. No, seriously, guys, go ahead and comment Kwani if you guys are going to join the Vending Machines for Beginners Facebook group. The links are in the comments right now, but go ahead and comment Kwani, that's going to be Q-U-A-N-I. Go ahead and comment Kwani in the comments below. Blow up the algorithm, guys. This will push more people to come and join the actual Facebook group and to support vending machines for beginners, okay? Kwani, when is the first live so the people know when, uh, when to get ready for this? Yeah, guys, it's going to be on Wednesday, January 11th. You got to be tuned and you got to be there. It's going to be so fun. I believe Paul's going to be joining me. It's going to be great just to kick it off. And this is something you guys can expect with being in Vending Machines for Beginners. Weekly lives. Weekly lives one-on-one -on -one with me, your girl, Kwani. And that way you know that I'm in it. I'm in it to see you win. And you know, guys, there's enough room for all of us. There's no need to be crabs in a barrel. All right? And hey, look at me. I'm willing to share this information with you so that you can be successful too. So 
me every Wednesday. All right, starting January 11th. And we're going to make sure you find success with this. Phenomenal, phenomenal. January 11th, guys, 2023. Vending Machines for Beginners is going to be Kwani's first live on Facebook. And trust me when I say this, she's going to have tens of thousands of members by the end of 2023 in that group. So make sure you're one of the first ones, okay? All right, Kwani, enjoy the rest of your trip. Take care, drive safe, and we'll talk soon, okay? All right. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, wow. guys. Now, now that we just did that interview, we're going to have our COO of ATMtogether.com, Genom Jonas. He's going to be joining us right now. And he's actually going to be talking about how to use an expert team to find you the most profitable locations in 2023, guys. So make sure to listen up. And if you are forgetting to ask for your guides, closed mouths don't get fed, guys. So make sure to comment Bitcoin. That's going to be B I T C O. I N for the Bitcoin guide or cash C A S H for the ATM standard, just cash ATM guide guys, remarkable guides, free resources. And also don't forget about the free mini course inside of the group guys. If you need assistance with actually looking at that course, guys, go ahead and comment ATM together. We'll have one of our teammates go ahead and reach out to you and get you the information that you need in order to learn. So then you can earn. All right, get them. What's going on? What's going on, brother? That was a phenomenal interview. Kwani is solid. I mean, some of the, like the best passive income sources, as we say, cash ATMs, crypto ATMs, and vending machines, right? So it only makes sense a successful entrepreneur like her actually took advantage and she's going to be helping everyone else out too. That's phenomenal. Your network's your net worth at the end of the day, right? Absolutely. All yeah. right. All right, guys, get cool. ready for the lesson. Getem is going to crush it and I'll catch you guys at the end of this. Cool, cool. And Paul, if you get a chance, can you enable share screen? I got a phenomenal presentation I worked on. Absolutely. Right? Gotcha. Awesome, awesome. Guys, guys. So apologize for the delay. I'm actually in the Bay Area and uh, my dad's sick, right? So spent some time with him in the hospital. But, but here's the thing. One of the, the best feelings was the fact that I knew I was being paid as I'm in the hospital. Because my passive investments, my passive income investments are paying me to spend time wherever I want to be, which includes crypto ATMs, which includes cash ATMs, which includes real estate. These are all different parts of the portfolio, but the point is you're generating revenue when you sleep, when you travel, wherever you want to be. If you have a sick family member, if you have a birthday to attend to, you don't need to take time off. You can be there. You're your own boss, right? So. A little bit about myself. I was uh, in law enforcement for a few years. I was in the Marine Corps making like a thousand dollars a month. I mean, wasn't the best, right? And law enforcement was great. It's getting paid about a quarter million a year, which sounds phenomenal, right? Trust me, it was great. It was, I mean, great pay, great lifelong friends, everything you can think of, experiences you never think about. But you gotta, you gotta wonder for a second. If someone was to leave a career that paid a quarter million a year, kind of raises your eyebrows like, well, how much are you making now? Well, it all comes down to the investments because I understood despite how much I made, it was only equal to how much I worked. So if I had a sick family member, I lost money. If I wanted to go on vacation, I lost money. If I wanted to just enjoy my time, I lost money. So I knew there was something wrong, right? I knew this was a chapter in my life. I knew there's something a little more. So here's the thing. How many of you guys know that you're destined for more? Maybe you have a job you're not a fan of. Maybe you got a boss you got problems with. Maybe you got a coworker. You're like, man, I can't believe I work with the same person. I'm, I'm, I'm up here and they're down here. And you don't have to judge them, but you just know you're destined for more. How many of you know the nine to five is a chapter in your life? It's okay. Let's turn the page. 2023 is around the corner. That's why you're here to take action. It's your turn to get to that next chapter. So you can look back and say, man, let me tell you about my life. You can be on a live just like this. Like, let me tell you guys, you must take action because success comes from massive action. If you're ready to make a change, ready to take control of your life, 
ready to increase your income, to start a business, any business, I want to know. I want you to be accountable to yourself right now. Comments CEO. Only if you're serious. Don't waste our time. Only if you're serious and you know right now, starting now, not 2023, not New Year's Eve, right now, you will take a step towards your future. Comment CEO. I want to see who's accountable of their lives right now. Right? That's what I'm talking about. I see some phenomenal comments. I see some familiar faces too that have already taken action. And I appreciate you holding yourself to that. So let's get to the lesson, guys. How to find phenomenal locations in the crypto and cash ATM business. I want to actually explain to you how we're going to do that. Let me see if I can share my screen. Let's see. So first of all, finding locations, it's tough. Right. I actually got this a lot on Instagram. And if you haven't seen my Instagram profile, it's at getmy. People always ask, how do you find the best locations? Well, there's multiple ways. It, if you want to put your equity or your sweat equity, meaning you want to put in the effort yourself, well, then you're just going to look online. You're going to actually do the old fashioned call. You're going to make a list of a thousand businesses. And you're just going to go down the line. You just start calling. Who's the owner? You guys interested in ATM? Are you guys interested in Bitcoin ATM? But think about the time that's going to take. The average salary monthly in the United States is $2,500 a month. Now, think about that. It's about 30 something thousand dollars. Think about how much your time's worth. In California, you try to do that, you're not going to survive. So what you want to do is leverage other people's time. Think about this for a second. There's a reason why sometimes you eat out because you don't have time. So it's the same reason why you want to leverage someone's time to start your business also or to find profitable locations, guys. And the fastest way in 2022 and 2023 is via digital means and other teams. And I'm explaining to you exactly how we help you with that. But first of all, I, I want to figure out what you guys are interested in. Right, because I mean, my DMs, Paul's DMs, everybody's been DMs been getting blown up. They're like, man, talk about crypto, talk about crypto, talk about cash. And I'm like, trying to figure it out. Most people want to know about crypto because we understand that since Bitcoin is down, people are selling and buying, and you want to be the middleman. So we're getting phenomenal interest, and I'll get into this in a second. So comment what you're interested in, just what you want to know more info about in 2023, and comment what you think is going to be future oriented. Meaning that's something that you have a lot of opportunity with. And I'm not saying cash ATMs, there's no opportunity. Because remember, relationships always change. But think about how many crypto ATMs you have. And I'm not trying to tease you, but just comment below what you're interested in. Now, Bitcoin ATMs, for a little bit of background, guys. Based on our training and experience in the industry and partnering with experts in the field that have consulting agencies, we have found that Bitcoin ATMs generate approximately $1,000 to $6,000 a month. Cash ATMs, they typically generate about $200 to $1,000 a month per location. And remember, guys, there's going to be locations that make much more. Paul has a dispensary cash location. Our team member, Gianni, has some, some interesting clubs, we'll say that, that generate thousands and thousands of dollars a month that have two ATMs side by side. But this is about the range we like to be conservative with in the industry. Bitcoin ATMs, while they are going to generate you more money, if you want to start the business on your own, including find your own location, there's going to be some inspections, there's some expenses involved, guys. And I actually broke it down for you because it took me hours to research this. So the average cost to start a Bitcoin ATM business in the United States is $70,000 to $130,000. And let me break that down for you because I like to understand the why the why something occurs, okay? Because I want you to value your time. So a Bitcoin ATM, you got to have the machine. It's typically about ten to $25,000, depending on where you get it from, and you better buy new because you're going to have issues. There's a reason why they have a lemon law for cars. Always buy brand new with warranties. And then you have to buy the Bitcoin. Bitcoin fluctuates. It goes up and down, up and down. So you want to have one to two Bitcoins for the machine. So right now, Bitcoin's probably at sixteen dollars to $18,000. We'll times that by two. It's about up $40,000, okay? You have that, and then you also have compliance because you turn into what's called a money service business. And we actually have another lesson on that. 
that's available for free. Comment below if you want to get access to that. One of our team members will provide that to you. But compliance is typically going to be $10,000 to $15,000. If you know how much attorneys cost, it's expensive. And you have to have an attorney draft a lot of paperwork for you continually. The cash inside the machine, because somebody might sell a whole Bitcoin, you need at least, what, $16,000. So as you can imagine, not a lot of people have that much money. And that's per machine. So now imagine you want to have two machines. On the low end, you're looking at $140,000. It kept our team members. It kept us from getting involved because there's just so much complexity. We're like, what can we do? But here's the thing. This is not with ATM together. Because we partnered with a third-party fulfillment company. We vetted it. I built the process myself. We tested it ourselves. I bought three machines. All bought three machines. We're competing for locations. I'm jealous of the location he got. You got a phenomenal location. So with that being said, this is what we have for you. The Crypto Elite Automation Program. And I'm explaining to you exactly how you're going to get phenomenal locations for your crypto or cash ATM. First of all, you're going to get a brand new two-way crypto ATM. I'm not even saying Bitcoin ATM because I want, I mean, Paul told me not to mention this. I'm going to tell you guys anyway. All right. Right now, the machines only allow Bitcoin for volatility. Next year, it's anticipated that we're not multiple cryptocurrencies on these machines. So as cryptos become more popular, we're going to offer that machine actual crypto on your machine also. And it's literally over the air just like an Apple iPhone update. And then all of a sudden you're offering Ethereum, Litecoin, whatever you want. So these are crypto ATMs, not Bitcoin ATMs. So make that clear, guys, okay? And then in addition to that, an advertising talker, because as you guys know, advertising, I mean, how many of you guys watched the World Cup? How many of you guys watched the Super Bowl? What do you look for? The advertisements. So here's the thing, guys, we understand advertising is profitable. And we thought to ourselves, how can we make this so much more valuable? to our clients. And this is what we did. We partnered with a national ad campaign. Think of CBS. Think of featuring your ads on Fox, on CNN, whatever. Well, now you're going to actually feature advertisements on that machine. So you're going to get paid per advertisement. Based on our training and experience, you're going to generate a hundred to $300 a month. In Canada, People generate $600 a month just from advertisements. Completely passive, guys. I don't think you understand the severity of this. You will become an advertiser. Completely passive, hands off. Okay? And then we're also going to have a guaranteed location, guys. And I'm going to break down on the next slide exactly how we find that location for you. The best location we can in your area, whether you're in Ingridge, Alaska, whether you're in Miami, or whether you're in South Carolina, we can do it. In addition to that, we're going to have targeted marketing to increase traffic. What's that mean? We're going to find where we need to list your BTM online so people know exactly where to buy their crypto from so you can tax them for it. In addition to that, that's not it, guys. We actually give you access to our crypto elite services, tried and true based on experts in the industry. And if you didn't know, I'm a seven-figure earner in the crypto space. I've been involved since 2016. I will give you personalized advice if you need it. But that's not it. We said, you know what? How could we make this even sweeter? We just sat there. We're like, how can we just provide the most value to our clients? Allow them to get involved in the industry, create a portfolio that will allow them to buy that rental property, to allow them to buy that car, to allow them to buy that G-Wagon, to allow them to retire their parents. We're like, we'll give them access. Because here's the thing, with crypto ATMs, you can place the cash ATM right next to it. And someone will use the cash ATM, get charged, which you own, get that cash, put it in the machine next to it and get charged 15% and you're just winning. Infinity banking, guys. So you get complimentary access to our cash ATM program, guys. That is two programs for the price of one. So let's get into how this works, guys. Crypto ATMs. There's two sources of re revenue. The main way, there's the machine itself, where typically, like I mentioned, you're gonna have $1,000 to $6,000 a month in revenue per actual month, guys. Now imagine you have that in addition to the advertising toppers, which is gonna be about $100 to $300 to be conservative. Like I said, the na nationwide average income is $2,500 a month. You could potentially double the nationwide salary from one machine. That is one of your employees. Because remember, you're now a CEO. You are the owner of a business. You're a founder. Then you get employee number two. 
Then you get employee number three. Then you decide, hey, I want to cash ATM. Employee number four, guys. So this is exactly how it's going to work, guys. As an elite member in the Crypto Elite Automation Program, we have a step-by-step -step proven process to make sure you're successful because we literally brainstormed for hours and we said, how can someone fail? And we ensured through our process that there will be success. So week one, we help you with the business formation because we understand that is a roadblock that people face. We get thousands of questions monthly about LLCs. And I personally will walk you through it. After that, we walk you through getting your EIN. And then bank account formation, because when it comes down to crypto ATMs, it is a very, very, very touchy subject with banks. How many of you guys know about the bank situation in California? It is almost impossible to find a bank for the ATM business, let alone crypto ATMs. So we know, based on our training experience of working with over 1,500 clients nationwide, including Canada, how to get you that bank. Once you have the foundation, the proper foundation for your empire built, we go on to week number two. That is when we actually start finding your location, guys. Because what we do is at week two, we start looking for your location. We don't just find you any location. We thoroughly screen the process, guys. So while you're ordering your BTM and it's coming to a technician, guys, this is a fully remote deployment. It's going to get shipped to a technician in your area that takes custody of the machine, programs it for you, wraps it for you, sets everything up in a pretty present, just like Christmas. And we wait for your location because we're going to thoroughly screen the location. And this is exactly how this works, guys. Pay attention because you can try to replicate this. We have perfected this process. We're going to partner with the call center. They're going to use targeted advertising cold calling, special techniques they've learned from finding over 2,500 locations nationwide. I'm telling you, from New York City to Los Angeles to North Carolina to Louisiana, anywhere you can think of. So they're going to contact the business you're in, and they're going to screen it off of multiple things. Volume of traffic. Is there a need for cash? Is there an ATM there? Because that's going to drive Bitcoin ATM traffic. And they're also thinking in their head, you know what? You may want to cash ATM there. So you want to make sure you get both. Length of the hours, the density level of that city, the targeted population, all these factors they're thinking of and they're screening for you. After that, they screen it. They negotiate the terms for you because we understand you're busy. You have a nine to five, you have family, you have the holidays. We're going to negotiate the best rate possible for you guys. And then we're going to put you in contact with them. We put you in contact with them. You check it out yourself and you verify yourself. You make sure you absolutely love that location because guess what? If you don't like that location for any reason, and I'm talking any reason, you personally contact me and we will find you another location free of charge, no matter what, because we are so dedicated to making sure you're successful because when you're successful, we're successful. And we want to expand the amount of ATM and cash ATM and Bitcoin ATM entrepreneurs nationwide, guys. And then you use our contracts that has been reviewed, vetted, used with multiple Bitcoin ATM locations. You sign that contract and that ATM and BTM technician will take the machine to that location for you. I would like to be there. I'd like to see it. Take a photo with it, guys. They will install it for you. And within the time period, you'll have your machine up and running. Now, here's the thing, guys. Most people don't stick with one BTM. And this is the reason why. We are in, I like to consider it the gold rush, guys. Think about it. People are scared of crypto. People are absolutely scared of crypto. That's the best time to buy. Imagine somebody was telling you in, back in 2008 that they were buying homes. What would you say? You're crazy. It's crashed. What are you thinking? And they say, I'm telling you, this is the best time to buy. And a year later, when they're driving their Lamborghini, you're like, man, I wish I listened. Don't make this your opportunity, guys. So I got, I got an announcement and I don't know if Paul mentioned this, but we are actually sold out of BTMs. So we mentioned before there were 20, we actually had a secondary order. So we're looking at 75 BTMs that were ordered already nationwide guys. So there's going to be a delay, but here's the thing guys, because the initial batch of BTMs were ordered already. And remember, we're all about good business. We want to make sure you guys are taken care of. Well, there's going to be a price increase. Because to satisfy the quality service that we have provided 
we have to hire new team members, multiple new team members to make sure you're successful, to make sure those locations are vetted, secured, and the contract is perfect for you guys. So we are going to be increasing prices for a Bitcoin ATM package starting in January for $5,000 more. Guys, we, we, we have to keep up with inflation demand. Like the pipe right now, there's about 14 people waiting to get Bitcoin ATMs. And we have another shipment coming, guys, but it's getting more expensive. So here's the thing. If you decide to move forward before January, you will be locked in at the current pricing, guys. This isn't any gimmicks. This isn't any tricks. We have to increase pricing. If you're with us 2021, you understand price increased again. It's, it's what happens. So if you're interested in just a conversation to say, you know what? Maybe I just want to learn a little more to get an educated decision because we're not salesy. We don't do that. As you can tell, as I'm talking to you right now, we like to have conversations. I'm old school. Paul's old school. We don't, nobody likes that salesperson. Paul and I just had a call like that with a company. We're like, we, we don't like that. We will have a conversation with you, educate you, teach you about the Bitcoin and cash ATM programs and see what is the best fit for you. Because if you're not successful, we have failed. And we understand that. So if you're interested in Bitcoin ATMs, which is going to be a low five-figure investment, but remember, you get access to cash ATMs, comment crypto. But if you're interested, interested in cash ATMs, guys, you say, you know what? That's where I want to start with a four-figure investment. And eventually, I will expand my portfolio into Bitcoin ATMs, just like this picture right here where you have the cash ATM and the Bitcoin ATM right next to each other. This cash ATM is generating approximately $600 a month. The Bitcoin ATM about 1,000 to 6,000. Comment cash below. One of our team members will reach out and I'll actually reach out too. We'll make sure you have the right option for you, have a conversation and you can take advantage of 2021 pricing guys. All right, so comment below, let us know what your thoughts are. And again, in case Paul didn't mention it, subscribe and follow us on YouTube. We're actually launching our channel as of tomorrow. It's going to explode. You guys are getting in in the beginning, and we're all about loyalty, guys. Yeah, that was yeah. a remarkable, remarkable uh, presentation. Get them. Great, great yeah. stuff, guys. So if you guys are currently watching this right now and you guys have any questions, the time is now to actually do a Q&A, guys. We'll give it about two to three minutes before we log off. But if you have any questions or you're interested in actually hearing one of our consultants speak about this, guys, I highly recommend that you guys either comment cash if you're interested in traditional ATMs or crypto ATMs if that's what you're yeah. into as well. It's the gold rush uh, for crypto ATMs, guys. There's so much real estate out there for these machines. It's remarkable. Now, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop it down in the comments below and we'll go ahead and answer them since we're here live with you guys is what it's about. It's about interacting and working as a team, right? 100%. Let's see if we got any comments. Okay, we got cash, cash, crypto, cash, cash. That's good. Now, guys, any questions? Okay, what is the initial investment in the ATM business? Now, are you talking about cash or are you talking about crypto? Because with cash ATMs, the initial investment is going to be a four-figure investment. Uh, four figure investment and then a crypto is going to be a five figure investment. And there's actually a great question there. So, where do we get the five figure funding from for all the cash? So, initially, we didn't have any, but literally today, earlier this morning, and I told you I've been busy, I was on the phone driving. We just secured contract to be able to provide funding for any package you want. And that includes if you decide cash ATMs, cash inside the machine nationwide funding company. Their requirements are typically going to be at about a 640 credit score. And you want to make about three times whatever it is the loan you're taking out for. And you're looking at 24 to 60 months. So you can be profiting from your package and your actual ATM or BTM business as you decide to scale and use OPM guys. And we have another lesson on that. So if you're interested in finding out more about our new funding program, literally like I mean, literally, I signed the paperwork earlier today to make it happen for you guys. We're not, we haven't launched the website yet. You'll get first tips. Comment funding below, and we'll have that conversation to break it down for you guys. Absolutely, guys. Make sure to yeah. comment funding. You guys are going to be the first ones to actually deal with our brand new funding 
uh, affiliate company, and it's going to be remarkable, way better deal, way better funding. Yeah, I mean, it's going to help a lot of people, and ultimately, that's what it's about. Your network is your net worth, guys. Mm -hmm. But anyways, that's about it. All right, guys. So if you guys need anything else, make sure to drop the comments down below, and we'll go ahead and actually answer them as we go through the night. But other than that, guys, if I don't talk to you, I think Christmas is, yeah, Christmas is this weekend, guys. Yeah. We'll catch you on uh, next Tuesday, which is going to be after Christmas, of course. But, guys, have a Merry Christmas. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on YouTube. That's going to be the at sign ATM together dot or ATM together. Yeah. So <laughs> if you look ATM together in YouTube, it comes up, guys. We already have three videos on there. You guys can actually watch pre pre recorded uh, live trainings, and we're going to upload the 100 and I think 40 some some and some change uh, videos that we've recorded in the past, guys. It's going to be good. So there's a lot of content, a lot of free content that no one else is going to be putting out there except us. So go ahead and check it out. And that's it. That is it, guys. Okay. And then also make sure to actually join uh, Kwani Bates Vending Machines for Beginners. It's going to be remarkable. We're actually going to be tag teaming um, on her first live, and that's going to be on January 11th, guys. I just dropped it down in the comments below. Go ahead and join her vending machine for beginners Facebook group. It's absolutely free. She has a free mini course and a guide as well to help you get into the vending machine business. All right, guys, have a Merry Christmas and I will talk to you guys before New Year's Eve. Take care. Sure. Take care, guys.